Following coverage tonight, it has been one week since a train collided into a school bus in Athens. 13 year old Christopher Bonilla was killed. Today was his funeral. KETK's My Owens tells us how the entire community came together to support his family. He sat in a third seat behind me and uh, his cousins and Jocelyn and Daniela and all of them sit close to the front. On my route, they were usually the uh, last ones I picked up and the first ones I dropped off. The third seat is still there, but instead of Christopher, photos, letters, and stuffed animals sit in his place. I was devastated. I mean, you, you know, you, people, you hear people dying every day, right? You don't have a connection with them. But when you have a connection with that person, it really, it, it does something to you. A connection that links students, teachers, and what seemed like all of Athens together at Athens High School to honor seventh grader Christopher Bonilla at his funeral, a ceremony that touched the lives of everyone in the room. I can never see myself to lose to any of my kids. But I think as a community in Athens, I feel like everybody got together and I just cannot feel the pain of the mom. All signs of the collision now gone, but the community of Athens will continue to think of the life it took. I'd like to say to him, if, I was, if it were possible, to tell him I love him and uh, He's in more capable hands now than he's ever been. You know, he's not in the hands of a bus driver, a school teacher, a mother, a pastor, but he's in the hands of someone now that's well able to take care of him. My Owens, KETK News. Christopher's cousin Jocelyn Torres was critically injured in that accident. She remains hospitalized, but is no longer in the ICU.